What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. This one in particular, we're going to be doing that mission where we need to go and pay off the dudes over here at the entrance of uh, Jacobstown. Uh, and then after that, I think we're going to go do the mission where we go in, uh, to a certain little cave and um, I guess find out where the source of the insanity com is coming from for the Nightkins. Uh, so that's pretty interesting in my opinion, so I something I really want to do plus it helps out the local Community here at Jacobstown So if that's something you're excited for do me a huge favor drop a like on this video Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. All right So first things first we have to go way over there We're gonna go ahead and draw our weapon just in case these guys want to get froggy these guys apparently are NCR so we gotta be careful. Look at Marcus over here, keeping a good eye on things. Good job, Marcus, I'm proud of you. There he is, the man himself. The man, the myth, the legend. Holy shit, that was cool. If you say so, ma'am. What's up, bro? Do we have to shoot you or are you gonna just leave? What? Uh, here's your 2,500 caps, asshole. A deal's a deal. We'll be on our way. Good. Bye. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Marcus. So that he could be happy. No, that's just a super mutant. Where's Marcus? Is this Marcus? I believe it's Marcus. Hi, Marcus. Something on your mind? Something on your mind? Yep, as a matter of fact, you don't have to worry about those, uh, uh, mercenaries anymore. There'll be no trouble whatsoever. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not gonna get it from us. Good, good, good. I'm proud of you. Well, really quick, though, what's the story with Keen? Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mainstream. Doesn't care for humans. Prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Why does Keen want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use. Uh, used to use. Knight can have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. Yeah, sounds rough. What happens if Keen leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse. If Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. Yeah, I agree. Uh... So you're a mutant too. Wouldn't the Nightkin listen to you too? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Makes sense, makes sense. Um, All right. I mean, I think we're done here, though, so you have a good day, okay? See you. Mm. Let me see here. Let's go ahead and put this... Um, let's put it into repair, I guess? Well, let's, uh, let's see what perks we can get here. Hmm. So I think are we able to get I mean toughness doesn't sound like a bad idea, does it? Night person plasma uh plasma spaz seems like a pretty decent idea. Hold on real quick. Uh what can I do to get better criticals? 
if it's even available. Did I pass it? Where is it at? Oh, long haul. So I need barter at 70. Uh, I don't really need that anyways. At least not right now. Where is... Better criticals. There we go. So we have to wait till level 16 for this. Um... And then jury rigging. That's level 14. We gotta wait two more levels for that one. This is also level 16. Meltdown. That's level 16. Weapons level 90 though. Weapons level 90. Weapons and repair level 90. Fuck. Okay. Concentrated fire seems like a pretty good one All right, let's go back up to the things I think I might get plasma spaz Because uh, plasma spaz uh... Yeah plasma spaz seems like a good idea. Oh mysterious strangers not bad either um, Sniper is not too bad Um, toughness. Hold on, let's go ahead and go back. What did I put this in? Repair? Okay, yeah, this is fine. So continue. Let's go ahead and just put it into plasma spaz. Uh, you're just excited about plasma that you can't uh, contain yourself. The AP cost for all plasma weapons, including plasma grenades, are reduced by 20%. All right, so that's it right there. Uh, nothing, or now that that's done, we need to take some stim packs. See you. Probably some more. Let's take one more. All right, we're good now. So now we gotta go. Where's my missions, quests? Uh, look for the source of the stealth boy mutation. I think. It's around this side. Yeah, I'm not worried about Lily. She's my friend, all right? What I really want instead of Plasma Spaz is Laser Commander, but I don't think that's still like level like 20 or something like that. So we still got a while for that. I hope you're ready, Lily. And uh, Rex. I want to. I, I almost called him Dog Meat for some reason. All right, where are we at? It's gotta be around here somewhere. There's gonna be a cave. Somewhere. We'll get there eventually. I promise. Where the hell is it? <laughs> um. All right, I think it's on my map now, so we're really close. I'm pretty sure I could have just went around to the left, but hey, it, it, it is what it is. We're already here. Are we here? I think this is it right here. It is. Oh, look. Hollow out rock. I'll take both of those. Thank you very much. Charleston Cave. Don't mind if I do. All right. Go ahead and go into stealth because we're gonna have to fight our way through this place. Maybe. Is there anything over here? Doesn't appear so. I'm scared. Ah! Oh no. All right, where's the next guy? We're in caution, so they're definitely around here somewhere. No, not Rex. Get out of there. With his new and improved brain. Where is he? Ah! 
Fire away! Damn, dude, plasma. Plasma weapons are on point. They're just not as fast as laser weapons, of course. Oh, I see you. Not really, but I do. This guy's no longer... He's got a snake head. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. I have a higher chance of hitting the legs. Come on. Got him. And... Shoot! Alright, he's no longer hidden. Lily, I need your help. I'm scared. Fight him! Oh my god, there's another one right there. Look at that. They, they look creepy. Alright, the head is 47. Oh, no, wait. The legs are 63. I don't get why the legs are easier to hit. That noise was absolutely horrendous. Alright, what am I looking for? You know, these guys are absolutely terrible. I was standing there for like forever. Thank you, I appreciate it. Lily, you're an absolute doll. What am I looking for? Whatever it is, it's over here. I think. I think I hear some more snake dogs. Oh shit. Die! I don't see him! I'm scared! Uh, Lily has suffered a psychotic break. She will remain in an aggressive state and will not respond to your command until break ends. Oh no. I gotta get some nice little headshots. I got a broken limb though. Alright, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, take a stim pack or two. Lily and dog meat are dead. Or not dog meat, Rex. Oh, it's a Nikin. Chewed Stealth Boy. Oh, baby. Uh, tell Dr. Henry you've discovered a potential cause for the Night Stalker mutation. Alright. Well, let's go. I gotta figure out how to get out of here now, though. Um. Hopefully there's no more Night Stalkers. Those things are creepy. Dogs with snake heads. Alright, it's gotta be this way, right? Why are things laughing in this cave? That's what I want to know. Alright. Um. No, it's this way. Yeah, you did. What happened with that? Uh, talk. Hello again, dear. So, what happened in the fight back there? Oh, Pumpkin. Grandma's sorry about that. Sometimes she gets mad. Her lessons to feel that you really shouldn't. The medicine is supposed to help with that. But sometimes Grandma doesn't take it. Uh, why don't you take your medicine? Sometimes it makes Grandma forget things she doesn't want to forget, Pumpkin. Um. Oh, okay, if you say so. Talk to you soon, dear. Wait, hold on. I want to know who Leo is. Hello again. Um, I have some questions to ask you. Tell me about yourself. Oh. Someone wants to hear grandma's stories. What would you like to hear, Pumpkin? Okay, never mind. I guess she doesn't want to tell me about Leo. Alright, how do I get out of here? I think I'm going the right way. 
No, that's where I went in the full circle. It, this has got to be the exit right here. Bingo! Alright, so let's go talk to the doctor again. Hiya! Alrighty. Where are we going? This has got to be the way. This actual wall, this makeshift wall that's around this building is actually pretty impressive. It reminds me of, uh, like, American colonial days. Bingo. I wish I could just jump straight across. If this was my Fallout 76 character, shoot, I'd be able to freaking fly across this place. But I can't. Hiya! Alright, who do we have to see? We have to see the Doc, Doc Mitchell, right? Uh, or Doc Henry, excuse me. Alright, good. We're here, though, so that's the good thing. Now we just gotta go actually into the building and talk to Doc... I keep wanting to say Doc Mitchell, but Doc Henry. I'm so happy that our dog is uh, all happy now. Alrighty. Um, hi, Keen. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Do you have a problem with humans? Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. Um. How does that make you different, uh, from some humans? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil. And you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Who are the other humans you mentioned? Dr. Henry. He's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. Uh, what do you do here, bro? I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. Uh, why are you guys here in Jacobstown? The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary, a place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Uh, goodbye. Finally. Rude. Alright, let's go talk to he Doc Henry. Hey, staring off into space. Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, here goes the research, uh, research for the Nikon cure. Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Oh, wait, uh, by the way, I found, uh, Chewed Up Stealth Boy in a Nikon, uh, the Night Stalker lair up right around the corner from here hmm there's still power but the casing is cracked I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly more importantly this explains why my research into this group of night stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the nightkin there's only one avenue left for me I need to run the mark II test on Lily it's the only way wait what why Lily not some other nightkin Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. What are the risks? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. Oh, all right, I'll talk to her. I'll be waiting. Oh god, well here goes. Uh, talk to Lily. Oh, again, dear. 
I gotta talk to you about something. Uh, do you still want to help Dr. Henry run his experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. Uh-oh. Did I just lose my freaky companion? I think I did. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. I mean, I don't have her as a companion no more. We might as well. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Aw, oh, man. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <sighs> Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Ah, smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. It must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I <laughs> liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Uh -oh. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. Um... Hello? My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. First of all, I would destroy you. Uh... Uh... The Mark IIs are even more dangerous than the standard stealth boys. Our lives, our decision to make. We're tired of sitting around in Jacobstown waiting for a cure. Oh god, uh Fuck, we're gonna have to kill him, aren't we? You're not getting the specs, bro. I knew humans could never be reasonable. I knew it! Stupid, stupid humans! I'll kill you. Shit! <laughs> Sorry, King. I'm gonna have to show you why humans are better. I feel bad. He gave me no choice. He had nothing on him? None of these guys did. Oh, this guy has something. He ate dog meat. So what's the next part of the mission? Or is it over? Speak with Dr. Henry. Where is Dr. Henry? Is he upstairs? Or did he go around a corner down here? Let's check down here since we're already here. Yeah, I think he's upstairs. All right, let's go upstairs then. Freaking Keen. He thinks he's a commander of sorts. Oh, there he is. Hello. Marcus isn't going to be happy about the deaths, but I guess they were unavoidable. At least I got a lot of useful data from the experiment. This brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. If the prototype was constantly in use on a living subject, however, perhaps Lily might be willing to wear the prototype for a longer duration. The data would be invaluable. Um. Uh, what will happen to her? Permanent damage to her mind is a certainty. Even the cure won't. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm close to the cure. I can feel it. Lily's continued help will give me the last bit of data that I need. Oh my god, uh... I mean, she's okay with this. And it will help the Nightkin as a whole.
Oh fuck, man. All right, let's let's uh let's do this. Very well, it will be worth it, I'm sure. I feel bad, man. I'm pretty sure I killed her or made her lose her mind. Let's go talk to her, Lily. Oh, Lily. Hello. Hello again, dear. Well, let's go. Let it be lovely, dearie. Is she gonna tell me anything Hello different? Again, dear. Um. I don't think so. Such a curious little munchkin, aren't you? What do you want to know? No, that's it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and part race. No. Grandma will miss her little pumpkin. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Go back to Lucky 38. Nice children shouldn't play in places like that, Fury. That's the sort of place Leo likes. But if you insist. And now let's get us over to Lucky 38. Uh, strip Northgate. I guess we could take that route. And then we'll get Boone back because I like Boone. Boone is my homeboy. I guess that was a faster place. We could have fast travel to, huh? Oh well. The good thing is that the loading screen is pretty fast in this game. All right, let's go into Lucky Thirty Eight and get my homeboy Boone. Or actually, you know what? No. Let's go. To where is it at? One eighty-eight, so that we could get Veronica, and then we'll go back to Lucky Thirty-Eight. That's what we'll do. Hi, Veronica. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? Nope. I'm ready to travel with you. Good. I hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Uh, let's go. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I asked you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Uh, actually, I'm more comfortable now that I know uh, you have training. I'm great at punching people. I'm not going to lie. It's a gift. Well, cool. Thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Very nice. So Veronica is giving me the scribe assistant perk. Let's hit the road, huh? Hit the road, Jack. All right, so let's go back to... Um, I guess we'll go here again. Let's go in here. Do I have power armor? Honestly, I'm not sure. I don't think I do. So let's go ahead and come back over here. I need to get a a nice set of like T51 to get give to Veronica since she's Brotherhood of Steel. All right, let's go ahead and go in here, and then we're gonna have to let her go once we go inside so that we can get our homeboy Boone. Hey, what's up, Victor? Where to, partner? The sweet, actually. All right, Veronica. What'd you think of Mr. House? I was surprised he only had the two robot sex slaves. <laughs> um. Goodbye. Why does everyone always say that? Uh, meet you at okay. thirty-eight. Nice. Can I order room service? If you want. Right now, though, I need to find the homeboy Boone, wherever he is. Get out of my way, Rex. Veronica's sleeping on my bed. Ah, I see what she's what she's up to. Where the hell is Boone? Am I tripping? Um, 
I seem to have misplaced a fellow companion. So there's Lily. There's Veronica. There you are. Is it time? Uh, let's go. I'm ready when you are. Absolutely. Um. All right. Well, that's gonna have to do it for now, guys. Uh, in the next video, we're definitely gonna continue on. We're probably gonna continue on the main storyline in the next video. So I'm actually pretty excited for that because I do really, really thoroughly enjoy the storyline here in Fallout New Vegas, of course. But if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.